Hello to everybody from Switzerland. So, you see it? Thank you, Kita, for inviting me to share some of my stereos in this meeting. Thank you for uh, agreeing. It's okay, so? Yes. Fine. Uh, please note, all slides are arranged to be viewed in parallel mode. So take a glass or look. So let's start. Just some information to myself. That's me, about 35 years ago. The world selfie was not yet born, but I did it in stereo here. I started to take stereos with different analog cameras and produce classical stereo cards with paper photos glued on pre-printed cardboards, as you see here in this example. I also collect 3D items. In earlier years, Viewmaster, but I bought more and more stereo cards at flea market, especially in London and Paris. And today, five years ago, I retired from an IT job. Since then, a good part of my time I spent in to my stereo collection and stereo photography. The past years, my interest focused more and more on Victorian stereo cards. You see, researching is a stressful thing. But I learned so many interesting things about the 19th century. Collecting is a wonderful passion. Oh, sorry. Yes, I know. Today, the photographer is in the focus. Here I am with my currently main camera rigs. First one is a GoPro system. There are two standard GoPro 3 Plus in the GoPro Hero system housing. Special in, by the system is the small base of about 33 millimeters. So this, this makes the rig uh, great for close-ups like this one. And this gives you also a first impression about the high level synchronization between the two GoPros. But look at this, it's water, it's like a sculpture. This camera is also great for, stair for street photography. If you wish more to know about this camera, see my article in one of the next IS used journals. There I describe all, describe all the pro and cons of this stereo rig. I use it also for snapshots at home. Other one is uh, a rig consisting of two G1X in their first version, synchronized with a very simple but effective 2.4 gigahertz system. My cameras are mounted side by side, so the minimal base is about 12 centimeters. So the stereos are a little bit hyper, but I like that. This picture shows also a part of Zurich. Zurich is my hometown. It is the biggest city of Switzerland with about 400,000 residents small but very attractive. But to finalize the hardware part, I take also Tetra with my smartphones. For example, in this situation, or this, and much other ones.
I have chosen five teams from my portfolio that I enjoy creating in stereo. And I will show you a few examples of each. First, I love to change the way of looking at the scene. Here the camera is near the ground. It's the GoPro. We see in this pic the ice structure of the frozen lake, as well as the wonderful landscape. Beauty of a tram track we normally ignore. It's in the famous Bahnhofstrasse of Zurich, but the rails seem only made of gold. The High Fish Bar at Hamburg, or how you see a bar only after 10 beers. In this and the next area, I change the perspective while mounting the pictures in upside down. A rainy day in London. Here, I arranged a special effect already while taking the photo. Note the people in the background. Aerials copy gives us also the possibility to show things in a way they hardly can be seen in daily life. Let's start with hyperstereos. Typical hypostereo taken from Tokyo Tower three years ago with a base of around eight meters. My daughter held one camera, I the other one, and operated the remote release. And even more hypo, the mountains of Switzerland are so tiny. With the eyes of a giant, that's my simple way to explore, explain people, how a hyperstereo works in our brain. Our brain knows nothing about the base of our eyes. Our brain is a creature of habit. And that's why it interprets a hyperstereo as a miniature world. Basta. A cloud landscape. My hotel room had two windows, so I put the camera in each window, and the result is this pic. I love the amazing transparency of the building. And now, just one example of the opposite end, the micro world. Small world of green flies. They are one of the highlight of my garden safaris. It's one of the small five. But now we change to something that can be impressively, impressively show with stereo picks motion of light over time. A fanfare. Graphic. This is an overlay of several long exposures. I miss traveling. And in the stereoscope, that's like uh, light sculptures. For me, very fascinating.
And to another uh, dominant topic in my portfolio, stairs. You see them? Furniture store. Also a museum. Church tower. Somerset House. The main station at Kyoto. But now, it's something completely different. Sometimes I love to tell strange situation with stereo pictures. I still don't know which one are the visitors. Seaside scene. Something for art lovers. And finally, of course, some clothes. By the way, this is a single time exposure without any Photoshop or Lumina afterwards. And see how challenging with the life with clones can be. Sometimes they are annoying. Simply too curious. Finally, they are like most everyone, just a little bit wain. And before I come to an end of this presentation, a commercial. See in my Instagram account. One picture out of nine. And this drama will take place in a board game coming soon.
Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the stereos. Wow, that was great. Um, that's cool. And there's something else. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I I could gush on. Um, I'm going to uh, just open it up if people have questions. Well, one of the question that springs to mind, those those were wonderful and, and a lot of fun, but do you have a site where you display them larger than Instagram size? Because that the tiny little viewing on your phone is, is not... Um, I know. No, I'm afraid. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, I have a question about your formatting. Uh, I know with both of the camera rigs that you showed, the GoPro, and the Canons, uh, they both take, you know, basically full frame 16 by 9 pictures, but you pretty much always crop to a square format. Is that because you're ultimately making stereo cards, prints, or yes. you just prefer it? Oh, okay. No, that's the reason for it, yes. I normally okay. make stereo cards, the classical one for the stereoscope. Yeah, and it's nice to go square because you get the maximum picture size. Yeah. Okay. Oh, another question for the long exposures. Uh, I know none of the cameras I use will do that. Is that your Canon rig that you do all those with? Yes. Okay. The maximum is 30 seconds with this camera. It's yeah. not a very good camera, but it's enough. Well, none of mine are good enough to do that long of an exposure. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful pictures. Thank you, David. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I could even pick a favorite of the of the different styles. The the surrealistic ones um, were just so cool. And then the clones. I've always been a fan of the stairs. So uh, just really great. Any yeah, other questions? The the stairs were just mind blowing. I uh also have a staircase fetish, uh, not in 3D. I, I photograph a lot of staircases in historic abandoned buildings. Uh, now I wish I had a 3D rig to do it with, but yeah, the, those that were, I understand. Yeah, those were fantastic in particular. I think. Uh, okay, I, someone else go. Is there another question? I was going to ask a question, but I thought I heard someone else. Okay, well, I'll ask mine. <laughs> I'm curious with the clones, um, how long does it take you to set up those shots? Oh, that's difficult to say. Uh, the, sh the shooting is, is, is very quick done. And then uh, to mount this in, in an old version of uh, Photoshop elements, it's, it's, it's a couple of hours, but it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, you think doing this, it's like gardening. You do something and uh, it's very enjoying, but it's a, it's a couple of hours for one picture, yes. But from the ID to the picture, it's a long time. And I, I sort of have the same question with the one where you're on the path way, but it looks like you are <laughs> on the edge of something about to fall in, that one. Um, how long did that take to set up? Sorry, for the post. The 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 one where you're you're walking, you're sideways on the ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, but yeah, how long did that take to set up? That picture, oh, that that's very quick. It's a couple of minutes. No, one minute. Looking around, no, nobody is coming. And then uh, 
my camera my my daughter had to help the camera like this and so cool i like i like the one of you in the the little car in the monopoly board <laughs> Very yeah. fun, a lot of fun. Akita, you have a book by Thomas. What's up yeah. with that? How come I don't have one? Tell me about that. <laughs> Sorry, she's she's asking don't, about don't, don't, the book that I have that from you. Did, did Thomas do a book? Yes. Yeah, and I don't know about it. Tell us about it. Yeah, how do you get one? It's this one. See, yeah. okay, that's what I'm Wait. talking about. How come I don't have one of these yet? Where, where, where can I get this, Thomas? There you go. No. Uh, it's this, this term here. Hmm? What? Oh, what? yeah, okay. E but where do you sell it? Where can I buy one? Do I have to hit you up? Yes, they're on the homepage. There is also one about uh, the clones. Oh, but, okay, cool. Uh, it's only a, a small one and the quality is not so good. Okay. Very well, fine, thank you very much. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.